Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So to start off this look, I'm taking my favorite primer ever, the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer, and I am just pressing that all over my T-zone, basically. I only use it in the areas where I have large pores, um, like on the edges of my face it would make no sense to use it there, so I just focus that in my T-zone only. Then I'm going to go in with my favorite foundation right now, and that's the L'Oreal Infallible foundation and I am in shade 102 shell beige now it's a pretty light shade with a yellow undertone so I think this will work for like a lot of people no pink in this one and I'm taking a Sigma F80 kabuki brush and I am pressing that into my skin now usually I use a beauty blender for my foundation but I've just been starting to use this brush and it's it's pretty good I mean I still think the beauty blender is the best but it's all right I am then applying a additional layer of foundation to the places where I need it and really pushing that into my skin. I've started doing this instead of using concealer and it's just, it's easier and it does the same thing. Next, I'm going in with my favorite concealer and this is Urban Decay Concealer. I know it has a super long name, I just don't remember it. But I'm using the shade Fair. That I remember and I do one portion of my face at a time. I don't like having the concealer just set while I take my time blending. So I just do one piece at a time. So I'm going underneath my eyes and then I also do around my mouth and then a little bit in between my brows. And this concealer I feel like it's just like an extra layer of foundation. So if you're all about that full coverage life, just use tons of concealer. <laughs> and then I go ahead and I set that with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. A lot of people use the translucent powder, but this one is bomb.com for me. Then I'm going in with a wing, and this is really just like my go-to look. Like, these are all the products that I absolutely love. Like, these are products that I swear by, my go-to look, I can trust them every time. And I'm using the NYC Liquid Liner. So a lot of people use like Kat Von D tattoo liner or they use like a gel liner with an additional pen as like a brush. But honestly, for me, this NYC liquid liner has transformed my liner game. For some, It's just really easy to, to me. For some reason, I don't know if it's a brush. It would seem complicated, but it's easier for me. So that's how I get my huge graphic liner like all the time. Okay, next I'm going to pull my chubby cheeks around and find that line to define my <laughs> my cheekbones and to contour. Um, usually some people make like the fish face and things like that, but I find it easier if I pull my mouth to the opposite side and it really gives me that direct line of where I want to contour. So I'm using the NARS Eda brush and Benefit Hula Bronzer to contour. And then to also add a little bit of definition and warmth, I'm just taking whatever's left on the brush and putting that on either side of my nose. But this won't be all that we're doing to the nose. I'm actually going to go in and define my nose more. I usually don't do this, but I felt like when I have my hair all the way up, like I want my features to be defined and not look like flat. Like I'd rather have more angles to my face with my hair up because the focus is all going to be on my face anyways, you know? So yes, that is what I am doing. I am taking a large fluffy brush and defining just like the sides of my nose. And then I'm also going to just do the tip. And you can see just without even any highlight how much more, like, more narrow and like my nose is there. Like you can see it. Then to warm up my face, I am taking this lighter bronzer. And this is Makeup Forever Matte Bronze in 20. And I'm just putting that everywhere because I want to be warm, you feels. For my blush, I am going in with MAC Melba, and it's just a pretty peach pink blush. I feel like this video could have been my August favorites because these are just like all the products I've been loving in August combined with like my go-to, let me not even think about my face look. So all these products are like the best of the best in my opinion right now. September 2015 these are guys that I swear by and for my <laughs> sorry for my lashes I'm going in with house of lashes iconic you guys know that I have to have these big huge fluffy lashes on me as much as possible so 
there they go for my lower lashes i don't like too much spidery lashes so i'm just going in there lightly with mascara it's still not like a fancy holy grail mascara i'm still looking for that so if you have suggestions please let me know but then to highlight i'm going in with becca and jacqueline hill's champagne pop which ugh, i put down when i first got it but now it's the only thing i use on my face i'm not even kidding so if you haven't got it uh what are you doing with your life and then for my lips i'm going with max subculture lip liner which is the perfect pale pink it is not brown at all it is perfect for a natural nude color and the natural nude color i am using is mac honey love lipstick my favorite nude lipstick ever i'm actually quite shy of nude lipsticks because i feel like they wash me out and they're just too pale and milky but honey love is perfect so i really recommend that one and then i'm just defining the edges with more lip liner and then i'm going in with tris Letch's uh nyx butter gloss and these are like my go-to you guys like these are products that i swear for swear by swear by right now i promise but yeah, that is it. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry I rambled so much. I'm just excited to get back in the groove of things. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!